Hello my Dottie family and welcome back to part 3 of this heart mandala design. If you are only joining us now, please go and check out part number 1. Then with your 5mm tool and colour number 1. You're going to make a dot on each and every single straight line. Up there, Not on the bottom. We're going to do something different there. So just at the top. Then with your white tool, the big ball side, and color number two, we are going to walk the dog around. So remember that a petal grows around the center point. So you want to hug the center dot. So I'm going to start on the line with my first dot. I'm going to go one two three four five six i can even do seven read up my tool go over the same spot again one two three four five six seven and that i'm going to do for all of them well when i said all of them i actually meant <laughs> those four because it's, it's a little bit hard to get it on those ones but that's okay so we're going to continue with these petals here. So with color number three and the big ball side of the blue tool, we're going to do our next layer of petals. So same thing. Top one first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the top again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that we're also going to do for all of the ones we did previously. Then we're going to add one more layer in color number four. Still using the big ball side of the blue tool. Here we go. Then in the bottom corner here. I'm going to take my three millimeter tool and color number three and I just want to do a dot right there and then I'm going to go a size smaller with my green tool the big ball side and I'm just going to walk the dog as far down as I've got space for so one, two three then moving on to color number four same size tool Just gonna do one dot on each side. Or actually, make your dot and then walk the dog. So you're gonna walk it up one, two, three, four, or as much space as you have available. But try and keep the amount of dots the same on both sides. And then this one I'm going to walk down. So one, two, fit three in there. One, two, and three. Then moving down to the big ball side of my blue tool and color number one. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Two, I can probably just get one extra one in there. So... I'm going to do that on both sides. Oh, my dots just got married. It's okay. I'm going to split them later. I'll show you how. And then on this one again. And then back. Four millimeter and still color number one. I just want to fill out this little open space we have on the side here. And I'm going to go smaller, so depending on the spacing you have available, adjust accordingly and then get the size tool that's going to fit there. For me, it's going to be the green tool, the big ball side. And you're going to walk the dog as many times as you can to fill up that little space. Two, oh, I can just, just fit three. <laughs> 
One, two, three. Wow, what a squash. A squishy squash. I think I want to go the same color. I want to go a little bit bigger in here. So have a look and see what fits. So for me, that will be another five millimeter dot right there. So now we are sticking to the circle to the inside. So you're not going to go outward, you're going to go inward. So if you're not comfortable in doing this, then you can just do dots. You can just walk the dogs um, on the sides, but I'm going to do a petal drag or a swoosh. So color number two, the big ball side of my green tool on the outside because I want to do two swooshes. I'm going to put my tool down and then just drag it down. Redip it and then do the other side. Again on the outside, down and drag it. Okay, then I'm going to flip my tool around for the all ball side and I'm going to do another one. Now that you guys are familiar with swishing, let's do more! Yay! <laughs> I'm going to make it easy. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't get stressed. <laughs> I'm sticking to color number two, the green tool, big ball side. I'm going to find the exact center between those two petals up here. Okay. And I'm just going to add, I'm going to double dot so I can add extra paint in there and I'm going to drag it down. Okay. So you can see when you add extra paint that the swoosh goes a little bit further but then I'm going to flip it around because I want to extend the swoosh all the way to the base and then from the center of where I dotted I'm going to take that and then just drag it down a bit more now if your paint is running thin in the center like mine you can just go and fold that up a tiny little bit like so great let's do the other side Find the exact center point, double dip, and then drag. Flip the tool around from the center here. Drag it all the way down. Fill it up slightly with some extra paint. Now I'm moving down to color number one. And we're just going to do a single dip. And in this space here, I'm going to drag it down until it runs out of paint. And then the same thing on the other side. Then you're going to flip your tool to use the all ball side. Going back to color number two, on the outside, we're just going to do a tiny swish, tiny swish this way. Okay, this one doesn't, it's not reaching, so I'm just double dipping and then swishing on top of that to extend my line. So, and then bouncing back to color number one. I want to get another one in here. Like so. And then one more at the bottom. Going back to color number two. Same tool, same size. Get that third one in there. Oh, that one didn't extend enough. Then sticking to the all ball side of the green tool and this time color number four I'm going to dip once and I'm going to do a swoosh all the way down the center so just below that dot in that tiny little space if your space is extremely limited 
you can use a smaller ball tool in order to achieve the same effect. So here my space is getting a bit limited down to my pink tool, the small ball side. As long as I have a swish there, it will look nice and consistent. Then my blue tool, the big ball side, I'm going to use color number three. And right next to or above that dot there, in that space, I want to do one swoosh on each, each side. Then the big ball side of the white tool, I'm going to use color number two and I want to dot another frame all the way around. So I want these dots to be slightly larger. So again, I'm doing my top dot and the bottom dot first. And then I'm going to fill in the space in between. So super cool mode. Here we go. Then I'm going to do another one around and I'm going to do that in color number four with my blue tool, the big ball side. And then I'm going to do one more <laughs> with the green tool, the big ball side, and that's going to be in color number three. So all of this I'm going to do in super cool mode. So I'll see you guys after. Here we go. Okay, then in my 7mm tool and color number 4, I'm going to top dot my center dot. Okay. And then with my 6mm tool and color number 1, I'm going to top dot these ones here. Now you can only do this once your bottom layers are dry so that you don't squash the bubbles. Then I'm just quickly going to grab my hairdryer and dry this. So while this is settling a little bit more, I'm going to quickly touch up all of my married dots. So what I've got here is a beading needle. So it is way thinner than your normal needles. And this is the side that you use for threading. And the pointy end, I just used my hot glue gun and I made it a little tip to hold on to. So you're going to dip that into your black paint and then you're going to split your married dots like so okay so here you have that swoosh it's a little tricky but I got in there And then where the dots look a little bit blocky instead of round, I'm going to take the same needle and then just touch that up. Then I'm going to take my 4mm tool. I'm going to do a top dot again in color number 3 on the center one. Then with my 3mm and color number 2, I'm going to do the same thing for these six dots here. If you'd like to add any other top dots or details, you're more than welcome to do so right now, but I'm going to call this done. I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'm going to seal this. So if you'd like to know how I seal it, please have a look at my seal the deal video. Look at that. Loving it, loving it. So cheerful, so happy, springy kind of feeling. <laughs> if you guys have completed your own piece and are going to share this on social media, please be so kind as to link my YouTube channel. I would love to share the art of dotting with anybody who would like to learn. Other than that, I'd like to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys again next time. Stay dotty, stay magical, keep well.